for Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com. I'm Phil Houck, and these are my last thoughts just before kickoff of a pretty big football game that's going to occur in a couple hours. And this video this season are brought to you by Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Uh, Texas A&M, Notre Dame today. Um, and rarely have the stakes been this high for a, a season opener for the Irish. Uh, it's winning you're in, uh, almost certainly, I would say, into the 12-team playoff. Uh, you've got to, you know, win at least 11 games this year, and, and losing your first game um, would reduce that margin for error for the Irish to get into the to the college football playoff this season down to zero. So it'd be a long season of clawing back into the picture. Uh so the Irish really, really need to win this football game today, but they're really, really good. Uh, so, you know, anything can happen. Uh, Kyle Field in College Station will be packed. It is rated as the most difficult place to play a football game, college football game, in the country. 102, 103,000 screaming Aggie fans will be in that place tonight. It's going to be loud. So the ability to communicate on the field, especially uh, on offense, uh, is going to be criti critical. Word out of South Bend this week was <laughs> that the last couple of weeks, uh, when Notre Dame was practicing in South Bend, or I should say at Notre Dame, uh, right just north of South Bend, that for miles around, <laughs> you could hear the noise that was being pumped into that uh, practice facility for the Irish uh, the crowd noise to simulate what the Irish are going to face today. Uh, Riley Leonard makes his debut for the Irish at quarterback today. His mobility will be on full display in this game and may come in handy uh, as the Irish look to deal with uh, with a young offensive line that's just going to be, you know, three first-time starters, including a true freshman at left tackle. But that mobility will help. Uh, Riley is athletic. He can escape the pocket. He moves well in the pocket. That will be a benefit, particularly against what may be a great Texas A&M defensive front. Defensive front. Uh, the South Texas weather has been a concern ever since uh, this one was scheduled, uh, especially in August, right? Uh, the latest report is for high humidity, 87% uh, I think I saw, and 85 degrees at kickoff. Now, that's hot, but that's not bad. It's not as bad as uh, it might have been uh, when all things considered. They've had temperatures near 100 degrees. Uh, things will moderate a little bit as the evening goes on as well. Notre Dame's a three-point underdog today. And I would say that the home field advantage that we just spoke of is what pretty much accounts for all of that. Uh, my hunch on this one, Notre Dame's culture... Uh, and coaching will find a way to deal with that noise. Uh, Texas A&M Texas has plenty of talent along with a, a new uh, and respected head coach in Mike Elko, a, a guy who's uh, familiar to Irish fans. Uh, but I'm saying that the Irish find a way, and I'm calling it uh, or predicting a low-scoring affair, Notre Dame 24, Texas A&M 17. That's the fighting Irish preview pick. And so for Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com, I'm Phil Houck. These have been my final thoughts before kickoff brought to you by Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Let's play some football. I will talk to you after the game.